Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The issue that I want to clarify today regarding zakat is constantly when we're getting questions about zakat, people say that, oh, because it's Ramadan now and I pay my zakat in Ramadan, so that's why I need to make my calculation now. So what I want to mention is that zakat, uh, Ramadan cannot be your date, as in Ramadan in general cannot be your date. The way zakat works is that you are supposed to look at the day of your anniversary from the time, from the first day that you became owner of a nisab. That's a separate discussion, which you can check out. But the main thing is that you have to fix one day. There has to be one day that's fixed, which should be based on the day that you originally became owner of a nisab. For most people, they can't remember that day. So they've basically prorated it to Ramadan. So if you can't remember the day, then that's understandable that you've got the day in Ramadan. But you can't have all of Ramadan because it's possible that you may have maybe a lot of wealth, assets on the second of Ramadan and then you have to spend it, right? You bought a lot of Eid gifts or whatever and then you say, well, I'm going to take the 29th day of Ramadan. I'm going to look at my assets on that day. So you can't fluctuate like that. There has to be a fixed day which you look at every year. And that has to be an Islamic date. So if your zakat date is the first of the month of Ramadan or the third or tenth or whichever date it is, right? Then that needs to be your date every year until a time comes when you go down to zero and your date resets. All right? That, that, that's a different discussion as I, as I mentioned. You'd have to check that one out. But the point is that you can't just have a any arbitrary date in Ramadan. It has to be a fixed date. And it doesn't have to be in Ramadan. It could be any date. And again, the idea is that the date needs to be based on the first time that you actually became owner of a nisab. So let's just say that you became owner of a nisab three months prior to Ramadan. Now the next year, you would actually have to do your due of your assets on that same date. Now you can maybe delay to pay until Ramadan if, it, if, if you can't find anybody to pay, but then it's better to always pay in advance. So remember, make sure that you, your date is the same every year, the Islamic date, and that's the day that you look at your value because the way zakat works is the day before my date is due. So if today is my date of zakat, my anniversary, and yesterday I inherited a large amount of money, today I will have to pay zakat on that money as well. Likewise, if I was to have lost or spent a good chunk of my money yesterday, then today I would have to pay only zakat only on what I have today. So the date is very important. That's, that, that makes the difference. So remember, fix one date. Have one date for your zakat and that should be your anniversary date every year for your zakat payment. Jazakallah khairan.